Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Scar Sovereignty of Scotland. So, as you guys know, last episode I made the horrible blunder of getting a claim on Scotland, thinking that I'd be able to take advantage of them losing most of their most of their army and manpower, and capitalizing it as quickly as possible with them also having rebels sieging up their land. You know, this sounds like a very good idea, and I should totally do it. I completely forgot that I was in a Regency Council for another four years. So that means there's absolutely going to be no chance of me getting that good old British land. That made me so sad. Support heir of the Dynasty Throne. You know, I... Okay, so what do I do? Each month of the I won't prove the nature of what I can. on heavy on the it will become the ruler. We will get two years of power from the ruler, as well as prestige. Hmm. Well, Poland's all the way over there, so let's see what happens. <laughs> I really don't know what the heck is going to happen, but we could at least try it. I mean, you never know. I mean, we might get to be the Polish heir and eventually inherit Poland. Which then eventually inherits Lithuania, which then we basically become like from this to that, and then just conquer everything else in between. I mean, that's just like a good idea. But yes, King James, you had an opportunity uh, when you were 10 years old to conquer England. It's probably not going to come true. Um, unless by chance, unless by luck, these guys keep fighting until about 10 years from now. If they keep fighting until 10 years from now, we could potentially have the opportunity to do something. I mean, the French haven't sieged up any land yet, so that means we still could have an opportunity. But the British are basically defeated on the main French continent. They couldn't defeat, they couldn't defeat the French. Um, the Polish, I guess, are going... I guess I'm supporting my heir. I, I really don't understand this mechanic well enough to really guess to see if it's actually going to be useful. Um, I guess what I should do is probably also be approving my relationship with the good Scottish people. I mean, of the good Polish people! We are the Scottish over here! But the good Polish people we gotta improve relationship with and... Goodness gracious, we will improve relationship with. And France hasn't claimed anything yet, so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to end the war just yet, but I'm really worried. I'm really worried, so I'm just going to stop looking at that war for a little bit and just look at all the other wars. Oh, shoot, that's a major war. Hungary going to war against the Ottomans, everyone. Um, With Muscovy's help. How did they secure that? Hmm, I wonder. That's actually a very interesting one. Um, hmm. My money's on Muscovy. Well, unless unless they have no military access to actually get to the Ottomans, then my money is on the Ottomans. But I don't know. It seems like a very that seems like a, that seems like a very interesting battle. I don't know who would win there. I really don't. I really don't. All right, we pay my loans. Let's just slowly start destroying these loans that I have that basically put me into chains and chastise me for years upon years. England's going through rebellion. Please, please, James, grow up faster. For the love of Benji. Oh, shoot, they ended their war. Didn't they? Shoot, they ended the war. But the Scottish, they haven't recovered. The English have not recovered yet. Um, ah, they're not. It's, it's just too, it's just too much time. I don't think we're going to have enough time to do it. So, I'm just going to give up on that dream and see if I can maybe expand into... The lovable no, the Denmark Denmark is still very much a a uh, good jerk and being all about them in all about them personal unions. Uh well then. I'll just casually sit on my island and just watch the world burn. <laughs> uh who said that again? I don't know, but it sounds very familiar to me. But at the same time, I really gotta repay back all my loans. Repay back all my loans, that's going to be my mission. As as rebellions slowly spread across England. And now their army is rebuilt. Oh, I hate you. 
Regency Councils. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, Regency Councils annoy me so much. Okay. Also, Poland, I guess we're going to be buddies. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm not entirely sure. I don't really know what I'm doing with you. So, I have to know how many other countries are doing what I'm going to do. Let's see. Air right now is... King... Okay, I own 5%. Bohemia owns 11. Brandenburg owns 7. Austria owns 13. And... Poland owns 10. So, technically the next leader is going to be either of Austrian or some other descent. I mean, it's more likely that somebody from Bohemia is going to inherit the throne. Hmm. Yeah, that isn't that isn't good, Poland. That seems like a terrible, like, thing to do to admit where, like, somebody else could inherit your throne. And, of course, Norway's opinion of Scotland has improved. Become your own independent country, Norway, and I will care about that. And let's see, let's just keep increasing our administrative power. Because that's what we're really good at here as a Regency Council, is administrative power, nothing else. And we can't really do any national ideas because we have to increase our military so that we match everyone. And let's see, who should we invest in? Let's invest in this guy right here. Because we can instantly win against this guy, get him up there, and we can start maybe getting some more power back in the papacy. Of course, the, the Holy See right now, who relationships, does that even help me with my, uh, Claim right now, or hmm, maybe it doesn't. Maybe this claim business is something. Hmm, let's just take let's just take one of my diplomats back and prove relationships with uh, the Pope again, because I remember the days when our good Scottish brethren actually were great friends with the Pope. And let's become good friends with the Pope again. But apparently now we got the holy, the elude alliance event again, which means we have to declare war on England at some point. By the way, did you know they're in a coalition against me? I did not know that until just now. And in about a couple years, we can. But at this point, it's like, well, shoot. If we declare war now, there was absolutely nothing we could do about stopping the English. They could probably wreck us right now. I could. I, I, I'm probably not doubted. They could probably wreck us right now. Let's we pay back our loans. Let's see. They're eight. We're six. Holy shoot! We have such a bad. That is really bad. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. That's worse than I thought it was gonna be. We're eight. This eight. Wow. Um. Yeah. I. I. I don't think I'm going to increase anything. That's. Oh my goodness, that's at least a couple tactics advantages. Uh, oh my goodness, and that's... Oh, that's improved relations. Let's see, what did they get when they're at level 7? Ooh, level 8, level 6, that's terrible! Oh, there we go, military tactics. Yeah, they get 0 0.5 military tactics on us. And a width of one more. Ooh, that would be deadly to us. Um, improved firepower. Um... Not horses yet. People don't want to be conscripted. Well, tough luck. <laughs> uh, I, I don't really have much to say to you because you get to serve the Honorable Army of Scotland and you like it. <laughs> uh, that sounds terrible, but it's the way we work here in Scotland. Okay. Let's see. We got. Come on. Come on. We need that technology. Yes. Go. Yay! Now we have the ability to have firepower. We still have the ability to not upgrade, though. And somehow, ah! Oh, for like one second, I was really advanced. And then like for another second, I became really unadvanced. That was disappointing there. And local defensiveness or gain engineer. Local defensiveness, because I honestly don't have need for an engineer. Oh, yay, more we paying loans. Just keep you paying those loans. <gasps> A new king! James the Third, the steward! James the Third has ascended to the detail and superior administrative skill will aid us in the reforming of administration and managing our taxes. What does that mean, everyone? It means we can finally do stuff again! <laughs> oh my goodness, this has been a long, arduous journey. We finally. He actually inherited a pretty good empire, too. So. 
we finally got everything back to normal. Which means we finally can do more stuff. Which means we can finally, maybe, possibly, fully support our army, first off. That's one of our first things to do. Um, since we have such a high administration, I'm actually just going to decrease our, you know, inflation just a little bit. Because we have such a high amount. It's not even really funny. I'm also going to increase our, our military. I'm going to put a focus for military. Just because our administration is so good right now. And we need to keep our military high. Like, our military needs to be high. And in terms of, of people in danger of succession, Poland is still very much in the very bad juju. In fact, juju is... how bad? Let's see, are we still... We still... we have 6% of their power. It's... the Austrians are basically whooping us in every turn. Hmm. In terms of leaders, though, I think we're basically... Hmm. Uh, besides for the Polish leader, I think our leader is the next best thing. And the French leader. It's the next best thing. Oh my goodness, wow, this is just... But I don't think we're gonna... I think I'm gonna stop supporting the air. Because I don't think we're gonna win this. So maybe next time the Polish guy dies. Like, next air, or whoever else is coming up next, maybe I'll support him then. But I don't think our guy is gonna be able to get in power. So we're just gonna leave it at that. And we're going to see who else has a somewhat shaky enthro enthronement. Uh, hey, Bohemia. Hmm. Would you guys like to become buddies? Because I would love to get a personal union under you. You might be useful. Also, one of these guys would be useful too, but I don't think I can actually get to them. Hmm. Unless by chance I could spark a trade at conflict, but I don't think I could. Could I? Hmm. Let's see. Covert. Infiltrate administrations. You do not have the diplomat to send this. <gasps> oh! And guess what, everyone? The next king is named James again! Whoop whoop! Whoop whoop! We have James IV. James IV. Raise the roof. Raise the roof, everyone. Yeah! James IV is a 235. He's insanely good at military. Not so good at what his father is doing. But that's fine, because in a couple years, we won't need that much administration, but for right now we do. And let's see, it doesn't seem like I can incite a trade disagreement or anything like that. Hmm. I think it'd be probably under here. Yeah, justify trade agreement. We must have at least 20% of the local trade power. Yeah. I can't incite any kind of trade disagreement. Also, that Hansa, look at that. They've rapidly expanded their empire. That's kind of that's kind of scary actually. When the Hansa starts rapidly expanding the empire like that, that's really worrying about the state of the empire. Okay, well, I have to get I have to get naval ambitions. That way, I have a colonial range. But oh man, I want to get that technology so so badly, so so badly. Okay, and now that we're basically here, what we're waiting on, people, is now we're just waiting on to repay our loans. Which are less, may I add. How much more do we have? 147 loans in total. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. A bit, an England's opinion of us goes down by 100? We don't care. They're already at negative 200. It doesn't matter. But what we have to start doing is wait for the opportunity for our good old... Our good old Scottish... Well, not Scottish... Our good old British brethren to be weak again. Or wait until this truce, which when does it wear off? Until the 1500s, wears off, and we declare war on the British, bringing in the French. That way we could maybe, actually, better idea, better, better idea. Wait until the French attack the British, then we attack, take the land, take everything we want to. And this time, instead of King James being too little to do it, he'll be definitely, he'll definitely be ready for this. Uh, I really don't want to lose. Yeah, they did insult us. Yeah, kick those British butts. We just have to give it a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer, guys. I know we want to go to war. Don't worry, I want to go to war too. But we have to, we, we have to kind of, we still got loans. <laughs> I hate to say it, but we still got loans. Our loans are almost gone, which means our bankruptcy, our old bankruptcy has almost, almost faded from all of our past. 
In fact, I think we should probably get one Diplo guy. You know, Diplomatic Reputation guy might be really nice to have. Like, really nice. The Protestant Reformation has just occurred. Oh, goodness gracious. Already? Oh, man, that means... It started out in this little country of Luxembourg, of Luxembourg, and we're going to see how it progresses from here. I mean, I've seen some really good Protestant reformations where it's come to the point where, like, France, Austria, Castile, Aragon, and it was actually funny, the Pope even converted to, to uh, Protestantism. And then I've seen, like, Protestant reformations where just, like, these countries become Protestant, or maybe just Denmark becomes Protestant. It's like... Oh, that's not exactly the greatest thing ever, but I, I guess we'll accept it, question mark? <laughs> so, I've seen both spectrums of it, and uh, will I become a Protestant? Um, I don't quite know yet. It's, it's a debate in my mind I'm having, because I don't quite know if I want to become a Protestant yet. I mean, if I was to become a Protestant, I'd honestly have the protection of a lot of different people, and a lot of different countries. Well, the most of my protection would be coming from the fact that I'm my own little island and no one's gonna be able to mess with me. Like, no one. Okay, Protestants are already starting to spread. We already have another country of France wants to enter the alliance. Shoot. They want me to enter. Goodness gracious, France, did you really want me? Uh, okay, give me one second. I will enter your military alliance. Okay, I'm just gonna wait into the, into the British. I have at least two months before I auto decline, right? Right? Okay. I'm gonna wait until the British get their armies and get them out of here. Because if they start attacking me now. Yeah, you see? If they start attack. Oh no! Oops, oops, oops. France is gonna hate me. France is so gonna hate me. Oops, oops. Did not mean that. Did not mean that. Shoot, France. France is now hating me. France is now disliking me a lot. Shoot. Okay, and, but it was still, I still think it's the best decision we could have done, because, honestly, oh wow, they severely hate me. They, they refuse to join the war and dishonor the lions. That's like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that's like, majorly. Okay, and we can repay back all the loans on a goodness note, oof. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, England. I'm, I'm sorry, France. I just can't enter the alliance when we could potentially die. Okay. I, uh, okay. Also, Castile will accept that alliance. We should probably get that too. I mean, if we could just get everyone as our, like, royal marriage buddies. Like, just get everyone as our royal marriage buddies. There's a chance we could just, like, randomly inherit almost everyone in the world. Which would be nice. Okay, let's see. Castile. Yes. Okay. Get that, get that marriage alliance right now. Get that marriage alliance so that they can't, so they can't break it. There we go. Yes. So now that we have that marriage alliance, that means our prestige should go up, and that means that we could do some more stuff. Improve naval supplies. Let's get that mercantilism because that mercantilism is pretty dang awesome if you get it high enough. Okay. Let's see. Would you guys like an alliance? No. France, are you guys hating us to the point? No, they were still, France, no, they were still one alliance. Good, that's good. And now, as you guys can see, this is the reason why I kind of held off on getting a uh, attacking the British because the British instantly raised a 36k army. That's something we can't fight even in our dreams. Too many cowards. Well, I I agree with you. I totally agree with you, game. But you don't have to rub it in my face. Okay. I mean, oh, was he, a, I think he was a good one too, he was like a 3-3-4. Three, three, uh, King James, I will not make you a new ruler because your father didn't show me much. Yeah, your father kind of died very early on, so we don't want that to happen to you. But, the British are obviously not sending over their troops, which is annoying me. I was expecting them to send over some of their army by now, so that, oh my god. My my captain, my captain. It had to happen in Ulster. It had to happen in Ulster. That means from now on, we could potentially face one of the biggest reformations in the entire world. And, oh, it's already starting. It's already starting, people. 
We don't have much control of it. It's going to do it. It's going to happen. Oh, my goodness. And with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.